Hi gorgeous, welcome back to the channel. So I, I just channeled something and I was like, no, 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 tell me I didn't hear that. And it was spirit saying like, yeah, no, you're gonna have to watch your language. I was like, no, no. I don't actually have to watch, all I have to do is watch it come out of my fucking mouth. <laughs> okay, but then I was getting like, you're gonna offend some people like that though. And it's almost like spirit is like, are you okay with doing that? Um, the rebellious person in me is like, yeah, no, I'm cool with it. Like, get triggered, get triggered. But like, that's not actually why I want to be here. That's not actually what I want to do. It's like, I don't want to trigger people. It kind of naturally just happens no matter what I say. Even if I stay silent. I have watched people go to war over the energy that I bring without saying a damn word. I have watched an entire group of people sling arrows at one another just by me entering the room. So it, I don't need to say anything. I don't need to say anything and neither do you. Um, but is it, it's just a word. It's just a word. Um, yeah, <laughs> you shouldn't be trapped by the word fuck. You shouldn't be trapped by the word shit. You shouldn't be trapped. It's just a word. It's just a word. But, but high priestess, this was the message that I heard was like, but you're a high priestess though. So either spirit is trying to get me to relay to a lot of high priestesses right now, like people are listening to you and they're going over it with a fine tooth comb, right? Everything you say. Um, there's like a magnifying glass on what you're saying and how you say it, how you approach things. Um, and while typically I didn't used to care so much, I kind of do now. I don't know, I just, I just do. Um, actually this card is on top. Look, I hear you so loudly. This card is on top of the deck that I had. Um, shuffled in that reading and I, I it was on top so I guess maybe this is um, maybe a message about what do you want do you want to be known as someone who uses the f-bomb you know who has like like no filter oh the devil oh the devil are you okay with people considering you the devil see if, if the answer is yes for my collective if you guys are okay with being called whatever you're gonna be called honey keep at it have at it i i suggest keep going <laughs> but if for any reason you feel strongly very strongly about that's not very ladylike, or that's not very godly, or that's not very much like a high priestess, you know, that's not very... If, like, you have those opinions, then don't speak like that. Don't swear. Don't curse. In the same way that some people believe money is hard to achieve because it doesn't grow on trees, that subconscious belief is not believed by millionaires. They think money is so hella easy and they attract it like water. It flows into their life. Two different people, two different subconscious beliefs. Okay. Where do you stand on this? What do you think about the vulgarity? Right? Now I'm, I'm asking my collective this because I really do deep down want you to unsubscribe if what I say makes you nervous or anxious because that's never my intention. My intention as a high priest is, is never to scare anyone. I don't want to scare people. I don't want... I don't even like fear. I don't like fear. I don't like uh, promoting that frequency. And if you're in the frequency of fear, I will leave you. <laughs> Bye. I don't like it. I don't promote it. I love being in love. I love being in the frequency of love. So what we're gonna have to ask ourselves going forward is who do you really wanna be? Who do you wanna be presented as in the world? Who do you want to resonate with? What type of people do you wanna resonate with? How do you wanna be viewed? How do you, because so many of us are coming out of hiding. Like I've been in hermit mode for 11 years. Like, like I've been like basically just me, myself and God for 11 years and I never had to really care, right? So much about how I was viewed in the, in society. Um, I didn't care about my reputation. Um, but there's also something deep down about how I wanna be authentically me. I wanna be me. I want to be me, that's it, that's it, right? I don't wanna be the projections that you have about me because I use the F-bomb, right? I don't wanna be deemed weak because I 
I keep myself from being myself and using the F-bomb, right? Like, I feel like no matter what, people will always judge you. No matter what, people are always going to judge. Always. Oh, it's not very godly. That's not very ladylike, is it? Um, I didn't, I'm not here to be a lady. <laughs> I'm not here to be a man either. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just me, right? So I think that what's going to happen soon, and because I channeled that message and it was like, Spirit was like, yeah, you know, the whole like F-bomb thing. But I have to realize also my spirit guides are here to help me. Like to show me things about concepts or ideas or ideologies, beliefs, assumptions that I have intrinsically deep in my subconscious. So if I still don't think that using an F-bomb is, is good, like they're going to show that. They're going to highlight that for me. Or, or a viewer will. Oh, I wish you didn't use that language. Okay. And, and again, this isn't like an aggressive thing. I don't want to fight with anyone. Deep down, I guess, maybe I'd like to say, yeah, I wish I didn't use that language either, but I do. But I do, though. You may write and be like, but that's not godly. Okay. Says you. What if I say it's godly? What if I say that I work for God, not the devil? Right? Like, I say what sticks. I say in my own reality, on my channel, on my platform, in my video, with my speech, I say what I want. And I have to really consider, like, what is it I want to convey? What do I want? What do I want to say? Right? I've never had to, inf I've never, I've never been allowed to influence people before. I wasn't fucking ready. I wasn't ready to influence people in a positive way. It was, that's why I kept my channel so small, intentionally, on purpose. I didn't really want to influence minds. I didn't, I didn't want to. I didn't want to lead people to hell in a handbasket. I mean, that's basically where I was at. I didn't want to do that. Um, in fact, I remember there is this platform, not YouTube, but a different platform, and I, I started this other spiritual community years ago on this other platform. And it got so big, so viral, it started to become like the number one channel on that platform. And I freaked. I freaked because I was like, I'm not ready to lead people. I lead people where? Lead people what? Lead what? No, thank you. I gave that channel over to some friends of mine because I was like, no, no, I, I, I'm giving you ownership. I don't want this. I don't want what people deem me as. They're, they're calling me like a devil. Yeah. I mean, I, I 11 years ago had an out-of-body experience where I met a being of light and so many people told me, told me I was following the devil. I was following the false light. Like they were calling me possessed, demon worshiper, Satanist, Luciferian, Satan spawn. My favorite was when I was called Alex Jones's daughter one day. That was really fun. That was like a, like a nice little twist. It was fun. That one was fun. But I didn't want to be seen as the devil. Like, like it offended me so much that people saw me as evil. So I guess in the way that spirit in that channeled message I just gave in the way they were asking me, like, are, do you want to be known as a girl who uses vulgarity? If I can answer it honestly and be like, I don't care. Like, like it's just a word, but, but deep down I do care. I guess is what I'm saying. I guess I do care. I guess I do care how people view me. I guess I do care, right? And I think that that's just human nature. I think that we all care. I think it's, I think it's some sort of safety mechanism or something like for being a human, like, of course we care. We want to be invited into clubs or parties or events. We want to be, we want to have friends. We want to feel like we resonate with people. Like we don't want to be ostracized. We don't want to live on an island forever. But if I can personally, as a creator of my own reality, change my assumption, my belief that everyone I'm cool with and everyone that would be cool with my messages are cool with me swearing. Like, it's just a word. You can't get wet by the word water. So it, it's just a word. It's just a word. But I hadn't convinced my subconscious of that yet. I, I haven't been able to be okay with that yet without it just, I guess, flaring up this like siren in my head. 
word. No, that's the devil. That's the devil speaking through her. Nah, it's the word fuck. It's a word. It's a word. In fact, me giving more energy and power to that word fuck is really devil energies. Like, like, I think the confrontation of people not approving of my vulgarity, that's not even, the confrontation itself, the argument itself, the arguing itself is not even devil energies. It's not, it's basically my subconscious mind showing that I still have this, this um, unsettled feeling about vulgarity, right? And because I've been in this, so we've all been in this society so long where it's like, oh, see, that's not what, that's not what an empress would do. That's not what a being of love would do. Ooh, that's not, what, what did I say? That's not ladylike. I'm the one that determines what's ladylike or not in my own reality, right? But, but we have to realize that up to this point, we've created our own reality and we, our subconscious mind has its assumptions. Our, our, like we already have our beliefs. We already have our assumptions. So my limiting belief that swearing is bad is not a majority of you. That's like, that's not your belief. That's not your assumption. Just like if somebody were to tell me that money doesn't grow on trees and you'll never make money doing that. That's not my belief. That's not my assumption. So it's different. It, it's different for every, every person. But I guess the message I'm trying to make is temperance. Do you want to be seen? Look at this, the higher font. Can't make it up. How do you want to be seen? How do you want to be viewed? Uh. Excuse me. Cause that's a yes. <laughs> Like every time I burp too, guys, that's such a message. Um, I want to be seen like me. I want to be me. I want to burp when I want to. I want to say the word fuck when I want to. If somebody comes at me with pitchforks, I want to say, hey, that's not my energy. Have a good day. I love you. Bye. Like, no, I don't work for the devil. But tell him I said hello. Like, like I want to be me. And so the message here is like a lot of the divine chosen ones who are out there leading now, it's like your first time to shine, really. You have to be okay with looking at the fact that there's something about you that you deem unworthy of being a leader, being holy, being, you can't like, you're not, it's not like an act. If you know that you are God, you know that you work with the most high, you know that you are God, you are light, you are literal divinity. A divine masculine, a divine feminine, whatever. You're both. What you say goes. Are you divine? You're divine even if you use the word fuck. Now, the whole wincing, I just felt like gas for air. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, fuck. Mm -hmm. The word, yes. Fuck the word fuck. Mm -hmm. Yes, and shit. Mm -hmm. Yes. I said it, I said both of them, and I still claim to work for God, you see? So what we're gonna realize going forward, ladies and gents, chosen one light workers, whatever you call yourself, you're here from a different place. You're not better than or worse than anyone. You're just different than. What you're going to soon notice, chosen one, is that what you say goes. Projections are just that, they're projections, it's not you. You're allowed to say whatever, you want to say oh, whenever you want to say it because you're God of your own reality. You're creator of your own reality, right? And to give power external of you to a comment section, to someone who hates you, to your mom, to your church. Oh, but like, she shouldn't say that though. That's wrong. We don't say that here. What do you want? Because chances are what you want to say is what you just said. You just said the word shit. You just said the word fuck. Mm -hmm. Chances are that's what you want to say. So say what you mean, mean what you say, and have some conviction about you, right? So I guess the message Spirit is trying to get me to relay to you is like when I channeled that message of like, oh guys, we're going to have to watch how we speak. And I said in the channeled message, yeah, oh, I'll watch my language. I'll watch my language as it comes out of my fucking mouth. I will watch my speech as it comes out of this right here. And if you have a problem with it, you can unsubscribe. That's pretty great. That's your free will choice. You have a free will to speak how the fuck I want to speak. And you have a free will choice to hit unsubscribe, that little X up there, and then hit the unsubscribe button and the little bell notification like turns off. It's really great. It's really great. But you do need to be aware 
that dark energies will come at you because it is projections. Oh, well, it's projectionville. Send it back. Not yours. Unless you believe what they're saying. And then that's a sin. You see what I'm saying? Like, then it's a sin. Otherwise, it's not a sin because you, you think it's fine, right? It's like, it's like eating a cheeseburger and being around a vegan. And vegan's like, oh, shame on you. You choose veganism. I don't. Okay? I don't think it's a sin. I don't think it's wrong. I don't think that it keeps me out of alignment with love. I do not think eating meat keeps one out of alignment with God, right? So, so it's time for this collective to realize that projections are going to come at you, honey. And you might agree with these people. Deep down, you got to really ask yourself, do you agree with them? If they say in order to lose weight, you have to go to the gym six times a week and eat like, like rabbit food. Do you agree? Do you agree? It's time for you to know thyself. Because your assumptions are your assumptions. Your moms are your moms. Your dads in churches are, you know what I mean? It's totally different. Where do you stand? Um, truth be told, I find the word fuck to be very fun. I love it. I love the word fuck. Um, I love all of it. I love all of it. And if I want to speak it, I'm going to speak it. Um, and also... Like, if I want to do something on my channel the way I want to do it, I'm going to do it that way. So stop with the entitlement as well. Someone literally commented about, like, and this is, it's no, it's no fault to anyone. It's just that the air of entitlement, that, that whole, like, I'm entitled to what you do, Jenna. I'm entitled to how you read cards. I'm entitled to, like, take this picture and try it like that and do this. And, I mean, look, guys, as much as I love you. Um, I don't like being bossed around. I, how about, I've got a great idea. And this is such a, such an amazing idea. I think what you should do is take those concepts that you have about me, the entitlement that you have about me and how I read cards and go start your own goddamn tarot channel. That's what I think. That's what I think you should do. I think you should take the entitlement and shove it right up your arse. That's what I think. So go start your own tarot channel. And then when people need your advice, they know where to find you. Don't show up on a tarot reader's channel. Whoever already works with the divine already gets answers from her higher self and try to boss her around. Like, who are you? I'm sorry. You, I don't, you don't even have a real username. Like, your name is not your real username. You don't even have a profile picture, bruh. Who are you? So anyway, no. The whole like, hey, do it like this, do it like that. No. Um, how would I do it exactly as I want to do it? and you can go do it exactly how you want to do it. You can buy any tarot card you want, yeah? You can go start any channel you want, call it anything you want, put any profile picture you want, speak all the words you want to speak. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. You don't want to swear? Don't swear! You don't want to eat meat? Don't eat meat! It's so crazy, it's so crazy. It's like we all have free will or something. <gasps> so, as for me, speaking vulgarity, if I believe the collective uh, uh, likes it, that's my assumption the collective will like it. The people I read for already use that, that, that vulgarity in a day. I mean, we already use those words. Actually, I did hear, I did hear something about like, um, people who swear are like more intelligent or something. I mean, I'm not gonna like say that that's true or not, cause I don't know, but it's my assumption, okay? So yes. How about I stay in my own lane, I do my own thing on my own channel, and I speak the way I fucking want to, and if you don't like it, you can unsubscribe. Um, I don't care if I go down to zero subscribers. If I, I don't care if everyone ghosts me, everyone leaves. I don't care. I'm not here for you then. I'm here for me. Really, if we, if we think about it, I'm here for me. You're here for you. I'm here for me. I want to enjoy myself. I want to drink a nice hot, cu hot cup of tea, get some sunlight in my skin, just like smell the air today feel in love, be in love, love myself and all my flaws. I'm not perfect. I'm not here to be perfect. What the fuck is perfect anyway? Bro, is it really never swearing? Then you're not perfect. Every viewer, every single viewer, every single viewer on my channel has sworn. You swore before. You swear. 
You've done it. Don't fucking lie to me. You've done it. So what? You're not perfect then. How dare you be hypocritical? And for those of you who are bossing me around, oh, well, you should read cards like this and I need to see the cards like that. You need to see the cards for validation. You need to. Someone else watching believes me because I'm a high priestess. Believes me because, well, I don't know. They, have, they, they, they listen to their own intuition. And they'd know if I were blowing smoke up their ass. You don't like me as a reader or as a woman or as, 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 as a high priestess. Okay. As a tarot reader, as a YouTuber, whatever. Bye. I'm not here to people please, Sante. People are never pleased. Why would I sit here, waste my breath trying to please you? Pointless. I don't work for you. I work for God. Okay? I work for God. And the ones I'm about to bring in my life also work for God. And guess what? They use the word fuck a lot. A lot. They're real raunchy too, the ones coming into my life. Real raunchy. Real raunchy. They're cool with their shadow. Like, they're cool with it. Emperor. Ooh, they're boss zaddies. The ones coming into my life? Bosses. Strong boss. Strong masculine men. And you know what? Men, men and women. Look at the star. The emperor, the wheel for... Oh, girl. Look at this. Look, look. This... This is what I'm attracting. They like themselves. They're like, you know what I'm not going to do? Beat myself up for eating a cheeseburger. You know what I'm not going to do? Hate myself because a viewer doesn't like that I use the word fuck. You know what I'm not going to do? Change my readings because somebody doesn't like the aesthetics. You know what I'm not going to do? Blow smoke up people's ass so that I get better algorithm numbers. Boss, zaddies are coming into my life and these people don't give a shit about giving anyone else a shit. It's their own life. They want to do what they want to do. They want to be free. And we want to be free from... What? Like projections, okay? Like you don't like people that swear. Stop swearing. Go try to abide by that rule that you've made up. All right, go, go, go try when you're in traffic jam and you don't say the word damn. Okay, go, go be godly somewhere else. Bye.